hello everyone welcome back to another video in today's video I kind of just wanted to sit and talk about some things um, right now I'm at the library I just actually left out I want to get this book to see if it's on Libby if not then I have to check it out because it was just so good but um yeah I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna probably go to the creek so once I get to the creek then I'll set you guys up and we'll have that talk but yeah okay hey everyone I'm back hopefully you can hear me okay because I'm by the water and it's kind of loud so if you can't hear me I'm sorry this video will turn into a voiceover <laughs> but yeah so today I kind of just want to come and talk about um, I guess just like starting over starting new things letting old things go I just I'm just gonna talk and I'm not gonna pinpoint anything I'm just let it flow so ever since I've turned 25 I've kind of been struggling with letting things go whether it's people places things materials all types of stuff I'm sorry if it's like a little dark but I'm outside in nature it's not much I can do I have it on a nature setting but yeah but um yeah so ever since I turned 25 I've been kind of struggling with that more so than usual I feel like I've always kind of struggled with letting go, but I'm coming to this point in my life where I just feel tired of holding on to things. Like, it's so exhausting to keep holding on to the rope. Have y'all ever seen the picture where it's like the rope and a person holding on to the rope and their hand is turning red? As soon as they let go, their hand stops turning red and it stops hurting. I feel like that's the stage I'm at right now in life. Like, I'm just so tired of holding on to things that are hurting me or just aren't serving me anymore. And I kind of just want to let that go. But I keep asking myself, like, how does that look? How does letting go look? And lately, I feel like it's really just been like, releasing the thought that I can control the outcome of things, knowing that I can't, um, and just telling myself like, what will be will be, and what won't be won't be, and that's okay. Um, I think a lot of times I would be like, oh, I can make this work, oh, I can fix this, oh, this is good for me. Just kind of convince myself of the things that I know aren't true instead of just telling myself the hard truths and letting things go. And sometimes we get in those points in our lives where we're just like, we want to hold on to the things that we know because, I mean, it brings us comfort. It, it, it brings us a knowing, like we know how this thing is going to work. We know what this thing is instead of like, stepping out of our comfort zone to try something new or accept something new. And one thing about me is like, I love trying new things. I love learning new things. I love meeting new people. I love being in spaces where I feel like I can thrive, you know? And lately I feel like I just haven't been putting myself in those spaces or like around those people or acquiring those things that I may need and for myself. And so, I'm kind of in a bit of a reflection period of just asking myself, like, honestly, what are the things that I need to let go of to receive the new things I want to have? And honestly, I'm not in a state of wanting so many things. I feel like right now, I kind of just want simple things. And before, the things I wanted, they were so complex. And I was like, when did I become so fixed on wanting these things. Like it's become a sort of obsession. It's become a sort of addiction and it's just not healthy. You know, it's not healthy when things become an obsession or an addiction. And so I think the first step for me was just honestly admitting like, OMG, like I've been doing this for so long. This same thing, one of these same things, holding on so tight because the outcome that I want for these things. 
And that's not getting me anywhere, holding on to an outcome that'll probably never happen. You know, when people say we hold on to things real, real tight, they usually don't happen. But as soon as you start to like let things go or just focus on other things, they start to happen. And not that I'm letting these things go so these things can happen. I'm really to this point where it's just like, I wanna let these things go because I don't feel like they're things that I no, any longer want. You know, I don't think I want these things for myself any longer. And I just don't really see them being in my life long term. And granted that certain things are supposed to be in our life for a season, but um, yeah, I just, I don't feel like that anymore. I mean, it's been five plus years. So I think it's okay to say that the season is probably well been over, but uh, I'm just loyal to the things that I want. And lately I just been like, do I even really want these things anymore? <laughs> like, I'm committed to things that aren't committed to me and not just people, like places, materials, spaces, just so many things. And I just, I just want a different outlook on my life. Like the honest truth is that we won't be here forever. We will die one day. <laughs> That's the only guarantee in life is that we will die. And I'm about to get emotional. <laughs> um, we will die. And I just wanna live my life when I'm still alive. I don't wanna wait around for death to come and take me. You know, I wanna meet death and be like, I'm ready. I. I lived how I wanted to live. I loved how I wanted to love. I laughed how I wanted to laugh. I was passionate about what I wanted to be passionate about. And I strive for the things that I wanted wholeheartedly, whether they worked out or they didn't. I still did it. And yeah, like when I'm on my deathbed, I don't want to be having regrets, you know? Like I don't want to be that person that's like, I wish I would have did this, or I wish I would have said that, or I wish I would have lived more authentically or holy or went after the things that I wanted to. I want to be the person that's like, I did that. I did my big one with life. I, I'm complacent, I'm content. You know, I, I did what I came here to do. And I don't know, I just, I think that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm such a crybaby when it comes to stuff like this, but like uh, a really hard truth is that for so long, I crave deeper connections with everything around me. Like not even just people, like spaces, things, people, like everything. And just to feel that oneness, just to feel something that feels real, you know, something that feels like it's not forced, like it just is. And that's the best thing ever when you could just feel something and it just is. And um, I don't know, I just, I don't wanna waste any more time. I feel like I've been wasting a lot of time. I feel like I've been wasting a lot of time waiting for things to happen that I know will never happen. And I've been putting my mind in places where they never were. Like literally, I sat the other day and I was like, when did I even start wanting these things? When did this become so important to me that I'm obsessing over it and everything I do or how I move depends on this thing. And I was like, I lost my way, you know? And sometimes we do lose our way and it takes for us to, I don't know about y'all, but I do believe in a higher, a higher power. I'm not religious, but I do believe in a higher power. And I'm like, I'm looking for God in everything that I do because I'm like, are you there? Are you with me? Is this right for me? I just want what's right for me, you know? And I don't think that's too much to ask. For a long time, I, 
doubted myself. I doubted my abilities. I doubted who I was just because the spaces I was in, the people I was around, the things I acquired, the material things I acquired. And I was just like, this is not me. There's more to life than this. And once you accept that, it's just like, huh. It's like this big weight off your shoulders to just be like, I'm okay with letting go. I'm okay with releasing control. And that's real for me. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes releasing control and letting go looks like, I don't know what the heck is next. But sometimes you just gotta be courageous and bold and brave to say, whatever comes next, I know it's gonna be great for me. You know, speak that positivity into the things that you want. Don't look at it as a bad thing. I think for too long, I have looked at it as a bad thing. Like if I can't acquire this, then what the hell do I think moving forward is gonna look like? But I'm just letting go. I can't, I can't keep holding on to these things. They're damaging me internally and externally and yeah i just i just want to let go i hope this little conversation this chat is making sense like i said it's more so me just coming on a camera and venting and i don't know if any i don't know if any of the 20 somethings can relate or anyone really can relate but yeah I'm out here by the water, so I'm gonna put my feet in the water and I'm just gonna sit and journal for a while, meditate for a while, and then I'm gonna call it a day. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and yeah. Let's do it. <laughs>